Hello everybody, welcome back to another Lost Ark video. Today's video is going to be uh, one of them famous old ramble videos where I just kind of do dailies in the background for your eyeball pleasure while I just kind of yap about things that have been going on in my my sphere, my brainosphere, if uh, you know, you know. Uh, but mainly going to be talking about uh, not necessarily burnout, because burnout has been a topic that's been covered much before, but sort of um, something that I think the game, um, I'm trying to think of the word, um, I was going to say something that the game should consider, but, like, I think that's the wrong term to use. Uh, basically, there's no surprise that the game sort of incentivizes you to have six gold-earning characters, because that's the quote-unquote cap, uh, gold-earning characters from raids, you can only have six of them, right? Makes sense. There used to be no cap, so before people would just make a fucking gorillion, and then people's FOMO would fucking go out of control. Um, I've always been a proponent of just doing however much shit you want to do in a week without worrying about if you cap or not. And I mean, I still fully back that. I don't think reducing the amount of stuff to do is necessarily a bad thing, but I think there's a balance between reducing the stuff I'm to do and making it feel like they want you to play the game less you know what i mean i think getting rid of tedious stuff or lowering tedious stuff so you're able to do more enjoyable things um obviously the enjoyability of things is all subjective so it's hard to gauge it objectively if that makes sense but basically what i'm trying to say is I've noticed the last couple of weeks, and I don't know, maybe it's just me, maybe it's just the times that I'm playing, maybe it's just my server, uh, maybe it's just me in my head and I'm gaslighting myself and I'm the crazy one. I was crazy once, they put me in a room full of rats, I was crazy once. Point being, I've noticed over the last couple weeks especially how bad it's gotten, and what I mean by that is, I'm trying to do my raids, right? Say... The other day was Sunday. Sunday, 9 p.m. Totally a normal time to be playing a game. It's not like super degenerate hours or anything. It's like about as normal as it gets, in my opinion. Um, you know, like you got your casual gamers playing 9 p.m. on a Sunday. I'm trying to knock out a Brel 1-3. Nothing too crazy. I make the lobby. I even have a couple friends to join me, so we're 3 of 8 straight away. I'm on my... You know, one of my 1590s. I don't fucking know. Uh, my point is, the lobby is not disgusting. It's pretty appealing. But here comes the problem. Lobby simulator. Uh, it's gotten so fucking bad lately. Uh, it's always been hit or miss in a way. But... Uh, do I have LOS on? Yeah. Oh, well. Oh, well. Who cares? Um, it's been hit or miss, but it's been, like, really bad lately. At least I've noticed it more lately. Maybe it's because I have other things that I would rather be doing now. Whereas, before, sitting in Lobby Simulator for 20 minutes didn't really bother me. Because I was just like, you know, it's part of the grind. But I do think it's just been getting worse. And it's not something that I've just been blissfully ignoring. You know, ignorant, if you will. Uh, but, continue on with my story. I'm sitting in Party Finder. I'm not gatekeeping people. Uh, I There's not enough applicants to gatekeep people. And that's also sort of another problem. Because over the span of 15 minutes that I'm trying to make this Brel Hard Mode 1-3 group, I'm forced, quote-unquote, forced to take uh, some very interesting characters. I'm forced... Quote unquote. I use the word force because there's no other applicants. Um, if I had choice, believe me, I would not have taken them. But I get posed with two roster level 100 people. And it's like, aha, roster level doesn't mean shit. Yeah, it kind of does, though. I mean, a roster level 100 player is not somebody that has played the game for very long. And just because they're 1550 doesn't mean they really know what they're doing. As is always presented on Gate 3 of Brelshaza. Because you can kind of not know what you're doing at all on Gate 1 and 2 now. But Gate 3 comes around. Suddenly, you need to be a contributing member of the Knowing Mechanics group. And obviously, these two roster level 100 people were not it. It 
looked like they had never done it before, truthfully. Even though they had full ancient set, but not that it matters anymore because it's there's not very many indicators. Um, aside from roster level, really, at that point. But that's not what I'm bitching about. What I'm bitching about is the fact that... Why does it feel like I'm being punished for not doing every single available gold earning activity on day one of a reset? Um, obviously, that's what a lot of the poop sockers do. Yes, that's a term us boomers used to use back in the day, poop socking. Um, basically, you knock out all your gold earning shit on day one, reset one, minute one, second one. Uh, you get a bunch of other groups full of degenerate nerds like yourself. But, like, sometimes you just don't feel like doing it. Sometimes you have other shit you want to do. Sometimes you just... You have real life, right? So, my point is... Not doing things on reset shouldn't be the death knell that it feels like it is right now. Because if you don't finish everything... it To me, keep in mind, this is my opinion. And what I have observed. Uh, so, it's all anecdotal. I could be completely out of my mind here. And please tell me if your experience is different than mine. But... Uh, I, I can only give you what my experience is. I feel like it shouldn't be such a death knell that it is if you're not able to do all of your shit on reset day. Because if you don't, the quality of player significantly drops off a cliff each passing day. And again, I want to keep this in mind. I was doing a Brel 1-3 hard mode. That's not a very crazy raid to do. I was doing it on a Sunday, which is not that close to reset. And I was doing it at 9 p.m., which is a totally normal time to be playing a game, especially on a weekend for normal human beings. I under I I just want to make the parameters as clear as I possibly can. Like I'm not complaining about me not being able to find a group at like 4 a.m. on a fucking Tuesday or whatever, or a Monday, I guess would be more apt. But hopefully you understand what I'm trying to say. Um, there's just not enough players, and I don't understand why they are so steadfast on keeping the regions so segregated like they currently are. Uh, it doesn't really do anything positive for the game. Um, obviously, it works for Korea, because Korea is a much smaller region, and... I mean, naturally, they all live in, you fucking guessed it, Korea. Uh, crazy concept there. So, a lot of things are designed with that philosophy in mind, whether it be low ping, uh, low ping mechanics, rather, or, you know, one region, but I digress. They don't even need to merge regions, necessarily, even though I think that would be the overarching thing that would fix a lot of my problems. Because the player base number is not the problem. Uh, it's how spread thin that player base is. Maybe they do something like World of Warcraft or like RuneScape. Where everybody can play with everybody, but you pick like worlds or whatever. Or just like in WoW where crossplay against different realms or regions are totally possible. Yes, you can say that it's not exactly the same in WoW, because obviously EU can't play with NA. Which, to that I would say fair, but also you have to kind of understand that WoW is a much bigger game, so they're allowed to segregate their player base at least a little bit. Um, and it's not like they segregate it massively either. It's not like they have... N.A. S.A. fucking N.A. East, N.A. West. No, they don't. They have North America, and they have EU, and then they have their Asian regions. I'm not sure which Asian regions they have up anymore, but... I just feel like if a game that is that much more popular than this game is already dividing their player base region-wise, like hard region-wise, less than something went wrong somewhere for Lost Ark. I don't know. Again, it's just something that was on my mind last night after being jailed in Gate 3 after waiting for 15 minutes, not being able to have a choice, really, in who I invited, unless I just wanted to do it a different time, 
which I don't think is a great solution. Like, yeah, you could just say, oh, well, do your raids at a different time. Or, hey, next week, do your raids earlier. That's not really a solution, in my opinion. Um, again, obviously, if I was doing them at degenerate hours, yeah, I could totally understand that argument. But again, it's like totally normal, like, human hours. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to stop rambling. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you think I'm just fucking off my mind on my fucking bullshit once again. Uh, but that's like one of my secrets, actually. I never get off my bullshit, so... It is what it is, man. Anyways, I still love Lost Ark. It's just... I feel like that needs to be talked about more and like something actively needs to seriously be thought about in regards to it. Because... If I am getting frustrated about it, and, like, I have plenty of comments saying how much of a no-life fucking Lost Ark Smilegate simp I am or whatever, because I like to try to enjoy myself when I play a game, god forbid. If I'm getting frustrated with that, then surely there have to be other people who are much more fed up with it than I am. And, uh, as an overall health for the player base thing, that's probably not great. Eh. I'm out of here. Thank you guys so much for listening. And of course, like the video if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it, leave a comment down below, all that good stuff. Uh, let me know your thoughts and opinions. Let me know if you think I am a little crazy, voice crackeroo. I'll see you all in the next one, though. Love you all. Thank you to all my YouTube members. Um, my brain's kind of broken right now. You know who you are, and I appreciate you. I'm Audi 9000. Peace.